as I am, it's me again. And it's, uh, what day is it? Monday! That's right. The school or college is closed due to the winter storm that we're currently having. But, uh, that's not to say there isn't anything to do. Well, because there isn't. Uh, but we... Once more updates is... I got the documentation I thought I'd share with you for the renters insurance. And for the TSA update, the category three that we're looking for, it is on, uh, still on October 16th. Everything else is in November. So that kind of pissed me off. I'm, lo I'm looking for November 9th. That's when I paid. So that's when I'm looking for this to, I'm looking for that to get to 93 uh, for November 9th. Hopefully I get some sort of response for them. So yeah, this is a thing called... It kind of made me laugh if there's a thing that says open immediately. It's kind of like the world's going to end if you don't... If you don't... If you don't open this immediately. I guess I'm going to need some sort of photo or something because... Well, I have plenty of folders when buying this, but... <sighs> right, let's see what it says. And let's see what it includes. Kind of a boy name because they told us to stay up the roads today. We can't go anywhere. And we can't go out because the roads are not safe. And there's a cop car sitting right outside the front door, keeping us everyone safe. So I guess that's a good thing. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Just going. Okay. Direct approach. What to do in case of an air, uh, accident agreement? Okay. So we'll keep this with us. It's kind of a mini booklet. Excess insurance, medical expenses, liabilities. So this is the manual, which I, I kind of read online, but I, I will read that. And there's a yellow envelope, so it looks like I'm going to have to mail something back. We'll see. Ah. Dear What's His Face, thank you for choosing a Venco insurance company. We truly appreciate the opportunity to provide you with exceptional service and unmatched stabi stability. Except stable phone calls. Uh, enclosed is your non-aircraft insurance policy for the coming year. Oh, these are the insurance cards? Yeah, little paper insurance cards. We prepared it based on the coverage you requested and the information you provided. Please read through it carefully and verify it meets all your needs. If everything is correct, please file this policy in a safe place and keep one of the attached insurance cards with you whenever you fly. We've enclosed two copies of the data, pa uh, data page policy order information form of your policy. After you confirm the information is correct, please sign and date the page marked company copy and return it in the enclosed postage page envelope. So you got to do something, read something, sign something, and send it back. So I was right. <laughs> The indication of a yellow envelope that we have to send back is a good indication that you had to send something back. Uh, thanks again for choosing the Venko. If you have a question about our policy or your policy, call us toll free. Oh my god, hell no. Our aviation underwriters, what happened to overwriters? Oh, can give you the answers you need. They handle most changes right on the spot. Sincerely, a Venko team in closest, blah blah blah. So, yeah, we've got. It's interesting because it doesn't have policy. Oh, there, the policy numbers are on the back. So, these are the insurance cards that I'm covering up because it gives you my address and you don't really need to know that. And then on the back has the dates and policy numbers and stuff like that. So, just like a car insurance, really, basically. So, um, it says, 
you have we've also enclosed two copies of your data page quality auto um, data page I am not seeing um, policy information form of your policy. Marked company copy. Oh, okay. I found it. I was looking for the. I found the. I found the sheets that it said, but uh, I couldn't see where it says co uh, uh, co company copy. Once uh, I found the one that says keep your records and company sign and return to a fan code. So this is the one that I'm gonna have to sign. So this to me would have been interesting if I saw someone doing this because. No one else shows this sort of stuff. I mean, this is all the paperwork that you have to do and all this stupid crap. No one says anything about going to a get rent insurance or anything like that. So it is. And it is what? The second? So 12 to 19. So yeah, I have signed. It just basically, so that's that taken care of. See, don't leave it to the last minute. Do it straight away while it's fresh in your head. I mean, it's too easy to say, oh, I can do that anytime. I don't have to do it now. But you forget about it and other stuff comes up and... Asian origami is not my thing. People fold in. So that's that done. There's a prepaid stamp envelope so you don't have to buy purchase a stamp. So the other stuff that comes with it is a form for next year's uh, premium. I saw online on the website that you can do installments, like payment installments like that. So maybe that's something I would do um, Next form, nuclear risks exclusion endorsement. You and we agree that the following exclusion is added to exclusions of your policy. This policy does not cover bodily injury, property damage, or air cover. Or is an out of the detonation and up on the topic of the price. Or from a radioactive contamination from any source. <laughs> so 
a nuclear bomb goes off. <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> I'm sure Wenders Insurance is going to be the least of our concerns if a nuclear bomb goes off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not joking, that's what it says. Atomic detonation, <laughs> where are you at? <laughs> oh, uh, Pennsylvania a mandatory endorsement. The following changes are made to your non air air policy non renewal. If we decide not to renew this policy, we will mail and deliver a notice of non renewal to you at least 60 days before the policy ends. The notice will state the specific reasons for non renewal, proof for mailing or delivery will be proof that you were notified if we offer to renew and you do not pay renewal premium you will be you will have declined your our offer conditional renewal if we offer to renew your policy policy condition upon any changes blah 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 blah, blah cancellations to cancel this policy you must tell us in writing at what future date the cancellation should be we may cancel by mailing or delivery cancellation notice to you if this policy has been in effect for less than 60 days the notice will be sent to you blah 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 yeah and privacy policy, strict messages why um, go collect information because they're nosy bastards. It means you share because you're so friendly and buddy with everyone that pays money. Um. <laughs> We're not responsible and we do not cover you in case of nuclear accidents. <laughs> or radioactive accidents. So stay away from any nuclear facilities. <laughs> Don't go sitting off any nuclear bombs anywhere because you're not insured. <laughs> I'm sure if, uh, like, if if an atomic bomb goes off anywhere near your plane and you're in it, then I'm I'm pretty sh sure that you're going to be vaporized. So, um, the policy starts the first day of term, second, uh, and ends on the uh, 21st, and that's hopefully when it gets renewed. It covers a hundred thousand for each person, one million for property damage, one million for each accident, uh, aircraft damage liability forty thousand each for non-owned, because it's only a little Cessna one five two, and those are cheap apparently, really cheap. Uh, this policy is based on meeting the following requirements. This policy was issued to you based on your representation to us. You have a date we did it. Notice to New York applicants, any person who knowingly and with intent def to defraud any insurance company or other person f files an application for insurance or statement of claim containing any materially false information or conceals for the purpose of misleading information concerning any f fact material thereto commits a fraudulent insurance act, which is a crime and shall also be subject to a civil penalty not to exceed five thousand dollars in the stated value of this claim for each such violation. But if you live outside of New York, it's okay to fraud, commit fraud, apparently. Uh, oh, never mind. There's a whole bunch of fraud warnings for each separate state listed here. Um, No, Pennsylvania is not one of them. District of Columbia, uh, Colorado. Any person who normally presents false information. Or confinement in prison. Ah, so maybe that's the one for Pennsylvania. 
That one doesn't have a name of any state, so the the next applicable in Alabama, Arkansas, California, Colorado, DC, Florida, Hawaii, Kansas, Kentucky, Maine, Maryland, Minnesota, New Jersey, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Tennessee, and Vermont. It doesn't have anything else. Alright, so that's uh basically the welcome to the family party that you get from your renters insurance. Um so hopefully so hopefully the TSIA just needs to hurry up and process my um, threat assessment because I'm very deadly. I know. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the feed, and I'm gonna clean up a little bit more. Garbage goes out tonight, so. Hey, adios, amigos.